Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Droid Tech. My name is Arun. I'm back here with another video today. And a lot of you have asked me about my widget home uh, screen here. So the, the home clock that I'm using and my, my time here. So I just wanted to make a video and show you guys what this widget is. It's one here that I'm moving around so you guys can can uh, see. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys how you can get this on your device as well. So first of all, of course, you're going to need an Android device for this. Second, you're going to go into your Play Store and we're going to type in UCCW. So I've done that before. I'm just going to go ahead and type that in. Uh, so here we are. We get a, a lot of a long list of UCCW apps here. And the first one here called UCCW Ultimate Custom Widget App. This is the app that you're going to install on your device first. So this allows you allows this app allows you to customize your home screen uh, with your own widgets and you know any themes that you want to install. Once you've done that. You can go ahead and install any of the themes below to, to use on your device. Now, there's a lot of compatibility issue, compatibility issues because all these apps are not made by the same person. So if you're running an older de device or maybe a newer device, some of them may or may not work. And I've had that as well. So uh, the one that I'm using right now is called the Smart UCCW Skin. That's the one. You're going to go ahead and install that as well. And again, you can install as many as you want. And then once you're done, you're going to go back to your home screen, go to your apps list and under UCCW, tap on it and you'll see all your apps here that all the themes that you've installed here, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the one that I want to be able to customize. So here it is. So this app allows you to customize your time, your, you know, your, uh, your apps or your themes the way you like them to be. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys some of the features that this app allows you to do. So for example, let's just take a look at the background first. So uh, right now it's showing me how it's going to look behind, uh, you know, on top of my current background, my home screen. So that's a good thing. I can visualize it right away. But I can also choose to choose uh, to select a different uh, background under the widget, under the, uh, the widget clock widget, I mean to say. So for example, you can, you can, you know, choose to have this so it covers your uh, home screen with that color you can change it to a different color perhaps blue or whatever you guys need to you have the whole spectrum there and uh, I, I prefer to leave it empty and transparent so I'm going to leave uh, that as it is you can also uh, under editor background go and change this to uh, a particular color so this will allow you to see what it looks like behind a particular color so now when I change it change my background or let me just increase my transparency here you can see the the green background is still there and then the blue is on top of that so you can you can visualize how it would look also uh, in the editor background you can also set it to default so what this does is basically it tr creates a trans transparent background for you so you can edit as you please uh, the next feature here is the objects uh, section here so we have the the day of the week and the time here and let's go into the day of the week and you can here change the as for transparency here as well so this is what this bar does so you can basically change the transparency to based you know based on your background it all depends so the difference here is that if you go to plus 100 it has a shadow on the uh, you know underneath the, the text but if you were to choose the minus 100 it just shows you plain uh, white uh, text and no shadow that's your own uh, preference you can choose uh, however you want uh, first the thing that I would you know recommend you guys do is change your editor background to wallpaper so you know how it's going to look under on your wallpaper and then go and make any changes that you need to do. So right now if I were to change the transparency here you'll see that it, you can hardly barely notice any change any difference here because my background color is so dark the shadows won't be a, a very you know um, visible in this case. You can also uh, uh, add I don't know what text mapping is so I'm going to skip that. But you can also change the color of your uh, widget here. So whatever you want it to be, I'm going to leave it as uh, white as it is. Uh, prefix will allow you to add anything be before the Saturday or, you know, suffix will allow you to add anything after the Saturday. I don't know why you want to do that, but it's there. Uh, and some teams may use it more than other. You can also ch choose your text case from uh, lowercase, uppercase to just default. I like the way it is right now. Same thing with the time, you can do all these things under time as well. Nothing different here. And then we also have the hotspot uh, option here. So what this allows you to do is create hot hotspots on your screen. So uh, for example, you can, first of all, uh, based on this red line here, outline here, you can choose what area you want the hotspot to cover. And you can also change the width 
and uh, size of this the length of this uh, height of this widget so once you tap on this you, it can open a particular app for you so right now my heart hotspot is um, you know uh, set to an app which is my clock and so that's pretty much it you can also position your widget so you can move them around on on your home screen but uh, you don't necessarily need to, to do that because you can obviously uh, you know uh, you can move around your widget on your home screen anyway so it doesn't really matter so this is not really helpful for this part also make sure when you before you exit out make sure to save when you go back it's going to ask you if you want to save again just click yes just in case and done so the next thing you're going to do is basically you know based on your home screen let me just take this off and then we're going to add this here i'm going to go to widgets under uccw and you can choose whatever size you need i prefer four by two and I'm going to choose that. So go ahead and put this on my screen here. Select the one that you need. So here it is. And then you can obviously adjust the size to your own preference. This is what my preference is. And you can obviously always move it around wherever you want to, however you want to. So that's not a problem at all. So I can change, put it on one side or you know have it on my center. So that's all your preference. So I hope this video helped you guys you know figure out this widget. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.